physical laws of wealth and abundance thank you jesus the physical laws of wealth and abundance there are so many of them but for tonight's teaching i will be discussing four very quickly and then we'll just tie up um one very briefly and we're done a dimension that most people do not know and understand about wealth we'll just introduce it and then we'll pray the first physical law now we're discussing the physical laws remember i taught you just reduce the volume a bit now listen please i taught you that both the spiritual laws of wealth and abundance and the physical laws of wealth and abundance are all called kingdom laws it is the same power of god that is back of their results is that true that means when you engage spiritual laws the power that makes the laws work is the power of god when you engage the physical laws the power that makes the laws work is still the power of god it's just the dynamics of their operation that is different so do not dichotomize it as if god you go there with the realm of the spirit here common sense or the universe is giving me results there is no universe outside of god there is the bible says once have i spoken and twice have you heard that all power belongs to god so what i'm about to teach you now the reason why it works is because the power of god is back of it are we together the first physical law that governs wealth and abundance is called the law of mental transformation please write it down the law of mental transformation you want to access the blessings and the wealth of the kingdom having understood absolute surrender your tithing your giving now you want to learn how to manage to multiply and to preserve wealth the law of mental transformation that your thoughts will eventually translate to your physical reality please pay attention for a long time people in church have not been taught that their belief systems and their thinking has a relationship with their financial levels and also their destinies you hear them you, you hear the church the body of christ talk a lot about mindset but i think we've not been as extensive as we should be in helping believers understand the role that a transformed mind has to play as far as the wealth of a believer is concerned the law of mental transformation proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7 let's hurry up there's so much to do it says for as he thinketh in his heart the word heart is usually interchanged for mind for as he thinketh in his heart the bible says so is he it didn't say so he will be it immediately equates your thoughts with your reality are we together now most people who desire to prosper financially speaking would not care about their their mental state and most people feel that all it takes to prosper is capital plus a business idea all it takes is just some money or somebody to help me that is not true many people have tried it again and again and it did not work your thoughts your mental state has a lot to do with your prosperity as it is in your mind so it will manifest in your life that is the truth the realities that are captured in your thoughts and your belief systems will eventually find physical expressions within your life you are your reality is a product of your most dominant thought this is true you have to believe this in genesis chapter 11 we we'll read from verse 1 to 6 genesis chapter 11 from verse 1 to 6 this was nimrod kush and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech uh-huh and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of china and they dwelt there and they said to one another goto let us make brick and burn them thoroughly and they made brick for stone and slime they had for mortar verse 4 and they said they are speaking to themselves now go to let us build us a city listen carefully and a tower whose top may reach to the heavens the goal 
let us make a name for ourselves lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth now theolo theologians hold on please verse 4 theologians still argue as to whether this was a spiritual concept or there was a building physically at least the bible did not tell us this was a parable so it's safe to assume that these people meant it literally are we together so we see nimrod kush and the people proposing to themselves that we are going to build a city and a tower and we want the top to reach the skies the heavens they had not started the building they were only communicating an idea and they agreed with one another verse 5 if you're a christian please read one to read and the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded one more time verse 5 hold on the fact that the lord came down meant he saw something real the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded that means it was finished already they had not started physically they were communicating that idea and yet in the realm of the spirit a building was rising god had to come and say who is building the power of thoughts that everything in life is built twice first in your mind and then physically if you ever try to build anything physically that is not yet built in your mind you will lose it believe me when i tell you this everything in this kingdom is built twice first in your mind and then your physical reality are we together now please put that scripture again and the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded not the children of men were considering no as they were discussing it their minds were receiving it that womb of the mind was receiving the seed something real was growing it's not satan that came to see it it's not an angel that came to see it. god himself do you know this is an interesting scripture because holy spirit is not mentioned here satan is not mentioned here the only thing mentioned here are men and thoughts and yet the word impossible as far as limitation is concerned is also used here verse 6 hmm. and the lord said behold the people is one and they all have one language now from the earth standpoint and this they begin to do physically what has finished he said they had built it now they want to do it physically and god himself is speaking he says and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have so the name of that thing that was building in the realm of the spirit is called imagination their minds were architects building their possibilities and yet physically there was no physical building can i tell you this you don't have to move to a physical location to prosper right where you are in that one room you are constrained physically but let your mind start building tomorrow let your mind walk with the word of god and start building the next season the law of mental transformation write this down your mind is an extraordinarily fertile garden it will grow any seeds that are planted and watered and it will give you abundant harvest of the same i'll take it again your mind is an extraordinarily fertile garden your mind is likened to a garden that is so fertile it will grow any seed the seed are the ideas that you allow failure limitations success victory that soil of your mind the moment it receives seed your mind does not have the ability to on its own reject seeds you just drop it there and it begins to grow drop discouragement it will grow drop limitation it will grow drop faith it will grow drop the victory consciousness it will grow that means you must pay attention to what you drop there or oh, let me put it this way proverbs 4 23 let the bible speak for itself proverbs 4 23 keep your heart now you understand other versions say guard your heart with all diligence why 
for out of it are the issues of life out of that heart your mind are the issues of life write this down your prosperity will be in greater measure comma a product of your paradigm and philosophies more than a product of the economy that your prosperity will be more a product of your philosophy and your paradigm more than the economy that means it is not truly the economy of your territory that determines your prosperity but your philosophy and your paradigm no matter what changes in the economy if you don't change you will still remain poor no matter what remains the same in the economy if you change everything will change you see where we miss it now when you measure poverty from an economic standpoint you are speaking territorially the gdp and all of that but at an individual level the economy is not the reason why an individual is poor it is largely your philosophy your ideas are we together you prosper largely from your paradigm and your philosophies more than the economy the problem is not the economy the problem is your ideas your philosophies and your paradigm write this down if you attempt to change your life that means your physical reality without first changing your mind if you attempt to change your physical reality without first changing your mind if you attempt to change your physical reality without first changing your mind this is what will happen your mindset will compel behaviors that will force your life to return back to reflect the level of your thinking your mindset will compel behaviors that will force your life to return back to reflect your level of thinking if you attempt to change your physical reality without first changing your mind or your mindset your mindset will compel behaviors that will force your life to return back to default and reflect your thinking look up please um many of us here we have some of us who are pilots and so on and so forth in in aviation there is what they call the principle of cybernetics it's 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 an aviation principle it, it is a, a check and balance system to make sure that as the plane lifts, it remains in its trajectory. Are we together now? That when there is a deviation, say for instance, a plane lifts and is going this way, there is a degree to which the plane cannot deviate beyond that level. The principle of cybernetics will kick up to bring the plane back to its course. Are we together now that is how your mind works another example is the thermostat the thermostat of an iron as you use it to press your clothes when you put it and set it at a level the moment it gets hot beyond that level that temperature it will off this is how our mindsets are so there is a programming that says you should never have more than hundred thousand if for any reason someone blesses you with one million while you are dancing your mind interprets it as a mistake because based on that mindset it's illegal to be holding that amount i am saying that your body will start creating behaviors this is a law that will make you waste that money back to the level where your mindset says now you are proper this is why you see people no matter what money comes they keep recycling back to a particular range it is not just demons it is a law of mental transformation so you can find out someone who your mindset has pegged along a particular quality of living you have not evolved to a superior version of yourself by changing your belief systems according to the law of time and chance one miracle will happen for you this is why people win lotteries and win millions of dollars as they are dancing their mind is saying this is a mistake your mindset has the assignment of making sure your physical reality is consistent with your level of thinking anytime your physical reality is more than your level of thinking your mindset will fight that result until it brings you back 
the same way if your mindset is higher than your physical reality your mindset will start compelling behaviors that will move you out of that realm to the realm that is consistent with your thinking please brothers and sisters understand what i'm teaching you this is not some scientology this is scripture that means i can start from one room but i pick up my bible i pick materials of men and women and i begin who have these results and i begin to engage with the spirit i am learning the word of god listen carefully i am learning the ways of god from that one room with a cup of gary with a cup of rice a window that is leaking a roof that is leaking but i am in that room i may not go out because i don't have the physical resources to take me out of that realm but i can allow my mind to travel with the word of god to the place where i want to come to physically can i tell you this your mindset is the authorized escort that leads you to where you want to go your mindset has to go to that realm and verify then come and pick your body to that realm please pay attention to what i'm teaching you so if you want to move out of that one realm that one room for instance i'm using one room not not that there's anything particularly wrong but we desire to move to higher levels is that true so assuming you are in in a negative condition you are hungry nobody is helping you no destiny helper no nothing from that one room you are learning the law of honor from that one room you are learning relationships from that one room you are learning scriptures you are listening to a message can i tell you your mindset will start forcing you to leave that room not by looking for rent just pay attention to what i'm telling you hmm. you are in this room now watch this no helper no help from anywhere the holy ghost says you just give me your mindset and let's travel pay attention listen carefully what i am telling you is powerful this is how god brought us here please listen 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 please don't just shout anyhow sit down and listen this 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 night's teaching i'm teaching from the depth of my heart i want you to understand what i'm saying are we together let me tell you what will start happening because the power of god is at the back of that law that whoever gets transformed should not remain at the level that is less than his transformation it is a spiritual law even though it's a physical it, the, the law is physical in manifestation but there is spiritual power that backs it the same power that raises a cripple from the wheelchair in a crusade ground is the same power that is back of that activity so you are in one room somewhere no family members no helper you come from a family where no one has risen don't try to live a fake life we're getting there to destroy and damage this fake living you don't have to fake what can be real are you together now now you are in that one room and you are praying and listening to messages you may not be able to change your cloth nothing physical will change you are still hungry you are still looking for food there are still bills upon you but your mind is only your body that is in that realm as you begin to grow and walk with god let me tell you what will happen the power of god in partnership with your mindset will start creating scenarios that will push you out of that place you must leave that place to a level that becomes consistent with your thinking don't find don't start wasting your time asking where am i going to leave that one to the intelligence of a power that is greater than you The law of mental transformation most times we live in a world that interprets your prosperity based on the physical things you're wearing is that true how expensive is your material what kind of watch are you wearing oh this is five million wow five million that means you are rich can i tell you even if you give somebody a watch and a cloth of five million naira and his mindset is 50,000 activities will happen around his life satan is looking for those kind of people because on legal basis he can now cooperate with the law you see how satan works satan does not just have power on his own his power is based on the loopholes in our obedience so he will cash in he becomes a destructive force that makes that law work 
He will come. He will come. He will come.